Hey, hey, hey. New stuff in the store today, ladies and gentlemen. This lovely lady is putting it in the store for all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Check it out, man. If you guys want me to expand the 2K news to like comp games that were played the night before, because we got, now we're in the season where we got guys like Dimes, Bear, and all of those guys playing comp games. So if you want me to do a recap of the comp games and stuff like that, let me know. We'll put together a sample show this evening and then we'll incorporate that into these shows daily. And I want to just talk about what's going on around the community. Po Boy saying his thoughts on certain things, uh, annoying in his thoughts on certain things since his stream is the post of Mike Wong, period. And uh, you know, stuff like that. So if y'all want me to kind of be like, kind of like a your age with commentary is, is what I'm saying. Anyway, on to live action. Speaking of Po Boy saying, we're going to talk about him for a second and, and we're going to see if you guys agree. He is, he he is thinking the same way that I am. He feels like there are too many on ball steals for people that don't have pickpocket or they don't have a high steal rating. Now I know some people think that 70 is a high steal rating and on paper, yes, that is a pretty high steal rating, 70, 74. But that shouldn't give you a license to just spam when you got other people that have like a 90 steal rating, 95, they, they just can't get steals. But it seems like it's always been like that in 2K. Like the lower your steal rating, the better your chance to get steals. Or maybe the lower, maybe it's like the lower you're still rating, the less, you know, you, you react slower. So it's, it, it increases the timing because I will tell you right now, my center has like a 45 or a 50 steal or something like that. I get more steals with him than I get off of my, um with, with my 3 and D uh, point. 99 video on the 3 and D point coming today. If y'all want to see that bill, y'all let me know. But um, I definitely agree with him. I, I felt like always that, that your, that stealing ability should be a function of like in this game at least still ability should be a function of your steel rating and pickpocket because if a person has unpluckable then what is the use of the badge like if they never in introduced the unpluckable badge then i mean i guess we can have a problem with the steel rating and you know people getting steals in certain ways but unpluckable is in the game and somebody that has a 60 or 50 60 steel rating can walk right up to you you have hall of fame unpluckable to just take the ball from you and it don't have anything to do with you being good. They just take the ball. And then conversely, somebody like me with an 85 steal rating and Hall of Fame pickpocket, I can't take the ball from them at all. I can't take the ball from a center sometimes. Or I can't take the ball from somebody that don't even have unpluckable. So it's like, I don't think anybody really has a problem with the fact that, that there are steals happening and things like that. But it's just like the badges that go along with the steals, like they, they just don't seem to work or they just don't seem to balance out. But that's just my opinion. You guys let me know. You think steals are fine? I think passing lane steals are fine. I don't got I don't have a problem with that. Needle threader seems to counteract interceptor the way that it's supposed to. But I guess I guess unpluckable does counteract uh the the, the, the I guess unpluckable does counteract pickpocket the way that it's supposed to. But if you don't have pickpocket, it's, there's nothing to counteract, so it just, it's just like it doesn't even matter. They just take the ball from you, and that's a little bit silly to me. I'm not saying that you should have, a, have to have a badge just to get steals, but what I am saying is that if you don't attach something to the badge, then the badge is useless. But like I said, if you didn't put that much defense in your build and the only thing you put up was your steal rating and people are running through you, then I mean, I guess it does balance out. It is what it is, you guys let me know. I just think that too many guards are getting plucked and not even me, because I don't get plucked that much because I don't dribble the ball. But I just think too many guards are getting plucked far too often to have unpluckable on Hall of Fame by people that have, by offensive threats, then we know they don't have any, any badges on defense. But hey, that is what it is. You guys let me know what you are. Uh, what you think about that? On to the next thing. Camera nine, Mike Wong. He he went to clarify. Uh, you know, so yesterday he said after the patch, uh, to clarify, for full whites, shooting, let me see, shooting was untouched. Shooting will be shooting will be the same as it was pre-patch. Uh, it just fixes inconsistencies between the shot meter and the actual outcome. And like I said, and 2K Lab confirmed it. Only thing they did was elongate the shot meter and made it a little bit longer so that you could see where you actually missed. So there was a bigger contrast between was it a true full white or or not. And I think that's probably letting people shoot a little bit better as well because the more time you have to see when you need to stop, the better you're going to shoot and the better everybody's going to shoot. So, and I think that's been reflected because bombs are hitting shots now, myself included. 
So, you know, it is what it is. All right, so then um, then someone comes on today and says, Mike, please revert this change. We will, we will get less green, hello, we will get less greens now. I can't read because of how he how he wrote it. Uh, getting a white on 50% of the shots that are timed correctly. Uh, shooting was fine. Shooting was fine how it was in 1.04. Already showing results. On, I mean, MA2K Lab is already showing results on this. I run meter off, and now I can now I could get perfect releases, thinking thinking I'm off. So yeah, what pretty much pretty much what he's saying is. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna go into further depth in this and that. It said if you don't use a shot meter, nothing will have changed. That, my sir, is cap. That's cap. Because NBA 2K Lab has come out and so oh, oh, camera nine, camera nine, brother. NBA 2K Lab has come out and showed us that two years ago they said that you could time a shot perfectly and it will only go green about 60 to 70 percent of the time so there are some times when you are timing shots perfectly and the game just will not give you a green you're just not going to get it and that's okay we, we've gone with that they're also showing you right here that this is what a perfect like if you if you time something to the edge of the green window it could look like this or it could look like this so the ones where i'm saying that i'm that's a 75 percent shot and and it's good versus a 90% shot, I mean 98% uh, shot, and it's bad. The, the, it's been validity to that the entire time. They said that this is one time to the to the edge of the green window, and look at the disparity between the two. You see one looks like it's literally touching it and there's no more space, and then this is another one time to the edge of the green window, and uh, it's, like, it's like a little space in there. Now we know that those type of bounce backs and those type of, uh, you know, going up, if you hit it right there, I call this 75%. It's really not 75%. But if you we know we've known since 2K17, if you hit it right there, the ball is going in. Now the one on the left side, that's always 50-50 or iffy. But the one on the right side, that's almost 100% shot. And they said that this is something tied to the edge of the green window. So if you've been, I've been shooting those for years. The ones to the far right, uh, I've been shooting those for years. And they've been going in. And I, I would I would say that's just as good as a green. But if I shot a full white, like me and T would say, yeah, that's a little too full. It's not going in. And that's that's the reason because that literally is the edge of the green window. Both of these qualify as a perfect release and a green. But they just don't go in. Because 2K won't allow them to go in. They just won't allow them to turn green. These are ones that are timed properly, but hey, it just what but look. This is what uh this is what 2K Lab came and said, like I said in the video, and that confirms it. And you won't be able to see part of what of this part of this just because I'm here. Let's uh let's move myself off of camera nine real quick. We'll raise myself. More or less, what they say is they have a modded controller. People on their modded controller, they have a 78, I mean a 70 make percentage on full you know greens that are timed to the time perfectly on the window which means that on their controller it is perfectly timing every shot and only 70 percent of shots are going in so if they can only hit 70 percent with a controller that's that's set up to shoot perfectly every time what hope do the rest of us have that's why we're shooting 40 i mean 50 60 percent sometimes 55 60 percent we can't make the 70 but he said that after the patch this is what happened you're shooting like you you notice the same number of shots going in so they're timing everything the exact same they're still making 70 percent but instead of getting 70 percent greens they're getting 40 percent greens and 30 percent full whites which means they pretty much almost split it in half instead of getting instead of getting uh 35 35 you're getting 40 percent uh you know 40 percent greens and 30 percent full whites i have not experienced this part here where I'm getting a lot of uh, full whites. But I do know, and we all know, that uh, when we time a shot properly, we're like, yo, I timed that properly, and it's a full white. I don't know what's going on. And then it still goes in, or you say, I time, I time my shot properly, and it's a bounce back. Or I time that shot perfectly, and and instead of being a, I mean, you know, it's a bounce back, or it's a full white, or, or it's a 75 percenter, and it still goes in, that's why because you did time it perfectly. It's just the shot meter is just gonna show you something else. So keep shooting the shot the same way you have, but this is a little tip. Like I said, the game is a little bit slower, even though there's a big, okay, so this is what they did. They slowed the game speed down, but they also changed 
they they elongated the the the, the speed difference. So they made it a bigger speed difference. But to make that speed difference more pronounced, they slowed the game down a couple of ticks. So if you want to hit your shots, you have to hold it a little bit longer than yesterday. Or maybe you can take quick draw down one. Maybe that'll work. I use silver quick draw, so you know it is what it is. But um, that's really the lowdown on that. The green, you are still shooting greens if you got the shot meter off and you and you release it properly it's not it's still going to turn green so if you're not playing with a shot meter anything close without a shot meter is going to be a green that's why he's saying there's not going to be a difference but at the same time the ones that are really off that are not that you didn't time properly that are true full whites so you got true full whites which are the ones that you didn't time properly those may still go in but the ones that are the fake full whites those are going to be green if you have your shot meter off. So fake full whites, you won't even see them. Those are properly timed shots, and they're going to go in. True full whites, they're they're, they're not going to – it's 50-50, really. You don't know if it's going to go in or not. On to the next thing, and like I said, 2K Lab further confirmed this by saying, from our initial retesting, uh, the patch did not change green windows or speeds. It did change how often the shot was, was either green or – or a white make so you got to keep that the white maker uh let me see the total make percentage is about the same so premium members so premium members how would you like to uh us to continue to testing this and they just say balance between the both if y'all want me to get a premium membership and get the information for you guys and try to get a partnership with them and try to convey this information to you guys in a better way just let me know but last but not least uh let me see kia asked mike Hey, can you do? Can you go into more detail about the stop and go badge? Seems like, seems like it's literally just about sprinting and stopping with the left stick and being able to sprint, uh, sprint, accelerate again immediately. Am I correct? Yes, the badge unlocks left stick animation content. Uh, let me see, stops and first steps. That's cool, but at the same time, I think it also freezes people. But it, but it just gives you better stop and goes. Um. I haven't really noticed anything that I don't use the badge. I don't know anybody that really uses the badge other than poor boy said, but he also uses tight handles. So when you use those badges in tandem, you get good stop and go, but you also freeze the defender after doing a lot of dribble moves. So I can't tell how effective the badge would be by itself, but I know that in tandem with tight handles, the badge is it's a deadly badge because you stop and go and you freeze the heck out of people. And like poor boy said was saying, that's his that's his badge. But anyway, that's really all the news that we have for y'all. But I wanted you guys to take this in consideration these two shots are perfectly timed shots they are perfectly timed greens and they look different this is the edge of the green meter and so sometimes it's gonna look like sometimes it's gonna look like this and sometimes it's gonna look like a complete bounce back but this is just what the game is showing you when the game looks at because the, the we all know that that meter is not the, the most reliable thing and it's a little bit laggy so that's not what the game is showing you the game is showing you this right here it is what it is man hope you guys enjoyed the video hope this was informative i just wanted to wanted to let you know that if you're seeing fewer shots go in and you're seeing more full whites i mean it, it it is what it is that's just how they've changed the game they're going to show you they're going to show you full white sometimes when it's a, when it should have been a green, and they're gonna show you green sometime when it should have been a true full white. It's just the, the just just the way that they decided to go. I feel like bums are making more shots because of this, and I don't know if you feel the same way, but you guys let me know. Do you feel like bums are making more shots because of this? It really does feel like more full whites are going in, and I'm not talking about the fake full whites. I'm talking about full whites in general. I'm seeing people hit half bar bounce backs. I'm seeing all the full whites go in. I wish they would change it back to the way that it was where really nobody could shoot but me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I wish they'd go back to day one shooting where if you couldn't shoot, you couldn't shoot. And that's just all to it. But that's me being selfish. And like I always say, just because I'm not experiencing a problem doesn't mean that nobody's experiencing a problem. And I cited unemployment as as one of the, the main things. Like a lot of people are unemployed. It is a problem. I've never experienced that problem in my life. So you know it is what it is. Uh you know. Except when I tore my knee up. But anyway, we ain't gonna talk about all that. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let me know what you guys want, want my next video to be. Do you want another jump shot? Do you want the, the badges that you need to be consistently green? Or do you want my 99 overall build for my uh, 3ND point? And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, VK of the People's Champ. Holla! 
Stick sticks out this month.